yes, live in the flesh, and we live in our best. My name is A.R. the Prophet, alongside my co-host, Soldier Strong Pat, and this is the Soldier Strong Way Podcast. Welcome. Yes, man. Let's get into it, man. We got a funky, fresh show for y'all. Every Wednesday, we're going to lock in for y'all and deliver education, health, and wellness on living well with sickle cell. Go ahead and introduce yourself, soldier. I go by the name of Patrick, also known as Soldier Strong Pat. I'm, I'm 40 years old from Jamaica, and I'm, I have the genotype of SS. Sickle cell. My dog. My name is Demetrius, also known as A.R. the Prophet, the Soldier Strong, and um, I'm 33 years old, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, and my genotype is SS, Soldier Strong. So let's get into it, man, of why we doing this show, the Soldier Strong Way Podcast. Yo, why, why, why we doing this for the soldiers, Rasta? Oh, well, we're doing this to educate the world, you know, educate the world on how we transition from, you know, once... Being in the hospital mm -hmm. as sickle cell patients, being tired of, you know, being messed with in the hospital and just transitioning from chemicals over to naturals. Absolutely. Yeah. So the reason that we're doing this is just to educate the soldiers on how to transition and live well with sickle cell and how to overcome the hurdles. You know, we're trying to be an inspiration and a motivation to those because we understand that when we was young and when we was sick and doing, um, going through all the crisis and the surgeries and in the battles and the hospital visits that we was dealing with, that there was a, a, a lack of education and people that looked like us that was delivering knowledge and inspiration and stuff that we was mm -hmm. motivated by. So we took it upon ourselves to go ahead and educate the world, man, educate yeah, the soldiers man. Yeah, man. on what it takes to live well with this illness. Yeah, man. <laughs> And, you know, to share our journeys, you know what I'm saying? To share our journeys, of course. But how do we meet? How do we meet? How do we meet? Man, we got to share how we met. So, I met this guy, what was it, 2016? 16. 2016. Yeah. I had just came off of two major surgeries, and I was in the hospital. And I was taking a walk around, around the building, get a little exercise. And I could have swore I was finna walk into my room and I accidentally walked into this man room, man. What you say to me when I walked in your room, bro? <laughs> I said, hold on. Brethren, come here. You have sickle cell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, it was over from then. I was like, yep. I said, wait a minute, you got sickle cell? He said, yeah. I said, that's crazy. How I just walk into your room like that, bro? It was by faith. I'm yeah, telling I'm you. telling you, man. God don't make no mistakes, bro. Divine connection. That's what that was. Yeah, man. We've been rocking ever since. Yeah, man. I remember that blessings. same... Blessings, brother. Hey, I remember that same day you shared a poem with me. I told you I do music, bro. We locked in ever since. Yeah, man. You feel me? The soldier strong way. But hey, man, we've we, we, we been on this we've been on this journey since 2016. So what? About five years now, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We done seen each other at our highest and our lowest, you feel me? Highest and lowest. Well, we still got higher to climb, you feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, keep living well, man. I'm yeah, proud man. of your journey, man. That's why we finna share it to these I'm people. I'm proud of your journey. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm proud of your journey. We used to be in the hospital at the same time. You be sick, I be sick. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Could motive, you know what I'm saying? How was we How was we to motivate each other, bro? Hey. But we did it. But we did it. We that's did the key. It. All right, then. That's the whole we key. That's the whole message keep, behind keep this. Faith. Yeah. You know, believe that you're going to get better because I'm, I'm telling you one thing. It's not only physical. Hmm. It's mental as well. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can control the mental. Right. Because you will feel the physical when you, when, you, when you go through pain and crises. You will feel the physical. But as long as you can control the mental... Mm -hmm. And tell the mental that you will be in a good space, you will be in a good place. It will happen. Absolutely, me. absolutely. Hey man, I wanna, I wanna, um, kind of give them an idea of you know our background and since we've been homies, since we've been, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying brothers, blood brothers, you know what we did, what we've been through. So the Jamaica trip, 2018, but we got to talk about that because that changed my life, bro. Let's it talk did. about it. you took me to your homeland. Let's talk about it, man. Where we go, what we do. Alright. So I took this man back to Jamaica. Alright. Alright. I don't know what possessed me to ask him, but you know, when you when 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 God 
put you in that special connection, trust me, it's 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 there for a reason. Mm-hmm. I took this man to Jamaica with me. After just knowing him for about what? A year? About a year, two years. Yeah, yeah. a year or two. And I took him to Jamaica with me. Changed his whole world. Changed my whole life, bro. Changed his whole life, as a matter of fact. Fact. You know, I took him in the hills and showed him how... Where at in the hills? In St. Anne. All right. St. Anne. Up in St. Anne Hills. St. Anne, bro. And Changed And showed him life. how, you know, Jamaican people vibes and how we live off the land. Right. You but know, the crazy... Everything, everything is supermarket for us. The crazy thing, one of the most things that I took from the whole trip and the whole thing was how you and I have both just got out the hospital like five to a week before we went out there. Mm-hmm. We both was in the hospital, same yeah. time, got discharged like a, like five days before we had our trip. I, I thought I was going to have to cancel, just to tell you the truth. I'm in the hospital thinking it's a wrap. I ain't going to Jamaica. Fuck that. I thought I was gone. <laughs> hey, you did say it. When I heard you say it, I'm like, shit, hey, we out there then. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, but listen, the thing is, when we got out there, you were still kind of you were still kind of sick, bro. Yeah, I was going through it, Joe. You was going through all of that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So when we got, we stayed in like, we stayed in Montego Bay like three days. Mm-hmm. You was cool. Mm-hmm. By the time we shifted and left from the grill, from Montego Bay to the grill, we Ground stayed another two, three days in the grill. From the grill, bro, we went up to the hills. Now, when we start going up to the hills, your body start getting different, bro. Climax start changing, elevation start changing, altitude, altitude start changing, going up into the hills. You start catching a crisis. By the time we reached up to the hills, you was in a full blown crisis again, bro. Yeah. And listen, wasn't no hospitals around, wasn't no doctors around. Nah, nah. I remember your your grandmother. She, we was there to celebrate her 90th birthday party. Mm-hmm. And this woman goes to the backyard and picks you some, some, some herbs, some natural herbs, and made you tea. Mm-hmm. And, and, and changed your whole atmosphere, your whole world, your whole body, your whole mind. You, you was good. I was good. Like real medicinal medicine coming off the land. I was good. When I seen that, bro, listen, the way y'all drank tea... In the morning, noon, and night, like herbal tea, mm-hmm. and, and, and and the way that I felt after tea, I never drank tea before I went to the islands. When I came back from the islands, we you was drinking right tea. A, you right. We was you drinking tea. Drank tea every night. We was drinking tea when we got back from the islands, bro. It's yeah. just like those little things. Herbal it's tea, essential. health and wellness, man. That was that was one of the things. You that said really... my grandma was ninety years old when we seen her, right? Uh huh. Tell tell these people what my grandma did on her birthday. We took a taxi to church. She walked back from church. <laughs> yeah, man. Walk. 90 years old. These these people, health. They living. They healthy. They not wanting for nothing. We didn't go to the supermarket one time while I was out there 10 days. Yeah. You feel me? Went to a couple corner stores. That's just to get us some bun and cheese and some snacks and some... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, we was eating ground food. Everything was ground food. Yeah, man. You know, if we wanted meat... <laughs> goats was being you know what I'm saying we was eating goat you know what I'm saying that y'all grew from from the farm so yeah man, it just changed my whole perspective on health and wellness and how to eat and live coming from America bro we grown we we, we raised on American diet which is all bad processed foods fast sugars all the wrong stuff everything that tastes good for you but's bad for you <laughs> and I didn't even use the bathroom the same out there you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hold on, hold I have a on. bowel movement every day out there. Yeah, I didn't have a bowel so movement within down. three, four, five days. Yeah, what you said, though? What? Diet. Diet. Yeah, all right. It's not a diet. It's a livid. There you go. All right. Live it. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, man. We ain't dying. We live in health and wellness. With health, you heal. With diet, you die. So we got to live, baby. And that's what this podcast is about. So on this introduction, we ain't going to we ain't going to talk too much. We just wanted to introduce ourselves, let y'all know what's up and coming, what we got for the Warriors each and every Wednesday on Warrior Wednesday on the Soldier Strong Way podcast. We will be talking health and wellness, um, different alternatives, different transitions, how to live, how to how to position yourself from being a patient to becoming your own doctor. We will be talking about uh, hydration from uh, regular purified waters to alkaline waters. Alkaline. We will be talking about different alternative in uh, medicine and um, how you feel within uh, cannabis over prescriptions and how you let your food become your medicine 
natural herbs, uh, immune herbs. We will be talking about these things. You know what I'm saying? We will be talking about psychedelic therapy. And we will be talking about mental health. We will be talking about prior prism. We will be talking about, you know, men's health with sickle cell. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go, man. We got 10 full episodes for y'all all the way leading up to July 28th. And uh, man, you know what it is, the Soldier Strong way. Me and my dog, Soldier Strong Pat, we yes, educating yes. the world, man. Big love, King. Yes, Keep doing am. what you're doing. Next week, don't forget, tune in every Wednesday at 1 o'clock. New video on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soldier Strong Way. Follow us on Instagram, at ARTheProfit. What's yours? I am Soldier Strong Pat. At Soldier Strong Pat. And follow our business page, Immune Herbs, at Immune Herbs. Health and wellness tips, different herbs on how to live well with sickle cell. Herbs that give you energy. Herbs that, um, you know, help you with... Um, um, inflammation, you know what I'm saying, mm. insomnia, pain, all of that good stuff. So mm. tap in, follow us. We got so much more to come for y'all, baby. Let's go and let's get it. Big love from the soldiers. AR the prophet. Soldier Strong Pat. And this is the Soldier Strong Way Podcast. Signing off. Big love only. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. The Soldier Strong Way. It's the Soldier Strong Way. The soldier strong way, it's the soldier strong way.